Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the King and I Life podcast hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother in this joint. Soul Lex. Yo, yo, yo. We are back to finish up this topic, the perception of weakness in relationships. Um, if you want to catch the beginning of this, you got to go on Facebook or YouTube or even Twitter and... um catch the beginning of this this conversation that we had um so yeah go ahead and do that and in the meantime some select what you got for the people yeah of course you guys can uh, reach out and hit us up on our email which is uh k-i-n-g-a-n-d-e-y-e-369 at gmail.com again that's king and i 369 at gmail.com and you guys can also turn tune in to uh king and i life.com thank you uh there you can fill out our <laughs> questionnaires if you want to come on the show again if you want to drop a topic you guys want to hear us talk about please feel free to do so anyway thanks for the feedback and there you have that so Gonna jump back into this topic. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump back into this topic. Um, so we left off um talking about the classification of weakness in when you're looking at the whole person. Um, so now we're gonna talk about does perception affect interpersonal relationships? Um and the first thing on that is platonic relationships. You know, are you sentenced to the friend zone forever? Sounds so Lex, what you got on that so far? I think there are ways to get out of the friend zone. Um, the thing about it, though, is you got to be willing to not be friends. <laughs> oh, my God. It is, it's one of those things. It's kind of like once you're trapped in that fucking friend zone, Good luck getting out of that motherfucker. It's damn near like a, a, a prison sentence and shit. Yeah. So basically, the yeah. only way to get out of that shit is if you gotta walk the fuck away. And then, and only then, will you regain your goddamn self respect. <laughs> you might gain the other person's respect. I don't know. But I've been placing that friend zone before. And that shit don't work for me. So I'd be like, fuck you. I'm out. Yeah, but the thing about it is some, some like when it comes to men, uh, women throw men in the friend zone because they think they weak. Um, and some men, they don't understand that. And, and that's part of the problem. Yep. Because my thing is this. Um, I, I put it like this. I used to put off that energy as if I was like too shy and blah, 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 or not interested or, you know, just not what they, uh, were looking for, so to speak in, in all aspects of a man. So, um, so it was like, yeah, I got thrown in the friend zone because I wasn't assertive. I wasn't, you know, macho enough or whatever for whatever particular woman. And so women will take that as weakness, unfortunately. And un unless you have certain conversations, that perception is going to be there. So it's like, you know, a few of, few of them, you know, you know, time passed and, and we have certain conversations or whatever. And they'd be like, oh, well, I thought this and I thought that. And it's like, yo, I just wasn't trying to, you know, jump out there because look, you seem to be on a different level and, and I look, I ain't gonna, you know, jump out there and make myself look like a fool or nothing like that. So it's like, yo, I just chill. You know, you look at that as weak. I look at it as, you know, I'm being smart. Yeah. I mean, the thing about it again, when a female wants to put you in a friend zone, um, of course, she's usually been through something. But 
the crazy part about that is she'll put your ass in the friend zone, but the next jackass that comes through, oh, he he got her tingling in them, them special places and shit. <laughs> so you like, what the fuck? Now you telling me you want to be goddamn friends, but this motherfucker here, you willing to get this 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 jackass a chance when you already know he's the same damn type that done took you down through there, as they say. So when I hear that friend zone or let's just be friends, cool. Ain't got no problem with it. Nine times out of ten, I'm not fucking with you anymore because I ain't got time to play games with you. But at the end of the day, that boils down to what type of um, what type of uh, vibe that the dude is giving off, and and what her assumptions are. Because yeah, she might throw you in the friend zone because you being a nice dude, you know. And uh, you know, women ain't some women ain't aren't used to the nice dude. So when that jackass come along and he's asserting his manhood, you know, his masculinity, ah, that's what she's attracted to, even though he's a jackass. But again, I've been there, done that before. You know, I look at some women like, all right, I'm going to play it cool, you know, approach it, you know, subtle, you know, try to be a gentleman and you get looked at as the weak man. But, you know, the jackass come, you know, he's all outgoing and, you know, his personality is vibing, but he a jackass. But it, again, it's that perception of the nice guy being weak. So, you know, and I think as men, we need to, we, we, we should be, well, at this age, yeah. we fully understand yeah. it. Back in those ages, it's like, yo, what the fuck? You know why? Like this dude? But again, you have to take inventory of yourself and you know you gotta look at it like that yeah i mean it's definitely one of those things where you live and you learn right as a young man you you want to be respectful and you know show i'm a nice guy and i got her back and i hold her down and you know vice versa for women but it's like for some reason they take your kindness for a source of weakness but motherfucker that treat him like fucking trash and dirt and shit oh he he's everything i've been looking for (laughs) what so again i i just think that it's one of those things you live and you learn the older you get the more experiences you have like that and it it wises you up to the fact that if a female wants to put you in a friend zone i say don't walk away run away um, nah, they can't always do that. Bro. No, no, for me, for it's me, it's not. It's not no, always the no, female. No, no, fuck that shit. For me, you can't. I'm, I'm you out, can't son. Do that. I'm out. I'm deuces to you the truth. You can't do that. And let let me you tell you why. Okay. Though, let me tell you why. Right, I got this homeboy of mine. Again, kind of like a brother to me, and he's still single. Still no kids. <laughs> mm. And he um he's a nice guy. And he's had, you know, plenty of girlfriends and you know he's never he's always been a bridesmaid, as they say. Always the, the best man, but never the the man, you know what I mean? So and I keep trying to tell him like, man, you too fucking nice for real. You are. And he, I just want him to love me for me. And I, I, I be trying to tell him, dude, I get it. But unfortunately, in today's market, that shit don't fucking work. Always being nice, always being the, the goddamn knight in fucking shining armor and shit. You see these females only call you when their ass is in the jam and shit. Or they in a bad way, that's when they call you. But when they up and they doing good, they ain't got fucking time for you. So, anyway, that's why I be trying to tell them, like, man, you you being too fucking nice and they're taking that shit for a fucking weakness. You can't put that on women. That's not their fault. 
Uh, again, that's why I be trying to tell him. <laughs> but 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 you but you but you just said you just said if they put you in the friend zone, you off to the races. I am. I am. But again, you can't put that on the woman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Yes, no. I can. No. Yes, I can. No. If you if you because... if you going off if you going off the example that you just mm-hmm. gave with your homeboy. Always being a nice guy, always the knight in shining armor. Always, I want them to love me for me, and you know <laughs> they always running to him when they down and they need something. Blah blah blah. When they up, they don't fuck with him. That's not their fault. Okay, that's his fault. That's all him for putting up with all that shit. Him, no, it's his fault for being that type of guy. For being a nice guy, that's his fault. Hell yeah. <laughs> Like honestly, honestly, all all all, right. all BS uh, aside, all nonsense okay. aside, let's just say you're the nice right. guy. You're always the mm-hmm. nice guy. I want them to love me for me. You know, when they need something, you got them. Um, when they need a shoulder to cry on, you there. When they need any damn thing, you're you're the Okay, honey, I got you. Don't worry about it. Oh, you got a flat tire? I'll pay for your tire. Oh, you short on the rent? I'll pay your rent. Oh, you need a babysitter? I'll babysit your kids while you go out with homeboy. If you keep doing that, it's not her fault. It's none of their fault. Because they, they're going to be like, oh, this weak dude is going to do whatever I need or ask. And he is not trying to assert his 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 masculinity his manhood. He's not trying to, he's not putting himself in a position to be like, oh, I could look at him as that's that guy that I need to be with. It ain't her fault. It's not her fault at all. At all. It's- Again, you playing a nice guy, always playing a nice guy, always laying your coat on a puddle, no matter what, and you are not trying to make it, you're not trying to Make her see you as I'm the dude that's coming for you. I want you. And if you keep acting that nice guy way to all women, all women are going to keep treating you like that. Period. I agree with you. So you can't be like, oh, I'm running. If they put me in the friend zone, if that's the energy that you put no. off. Now, if you putting off masculine energy and, and, and they can't handle that masculine energy and they put you in the friend zone, and you see them run into a soft dude, then you'd be like, then you could be like, you know what? Uh, I, I can't, I can't because all you're looking for is those type of weak dudes. And that weak dude has a flag up saying, hey, I'm the weak dude. Come see me. It's a difference. I can't say I've seen a female go from dealing with someone who's a jackass to someone who's a nice guy. It depends on... I've okay. never seen it. How many females have you put in the friend zone? Oh, quite a few. <laughs> How many of them would you describe as weak that you put in the friend zone? I wouldn't describe any of them as weak, honestly. So why would you put them in the friend zone? They just weren't my type. What about them wasn't your type? Uh, I'm the type of dude that I, I, I like a certain type of female, right? I like someone who... Like what? A, she got to be assertive? Not so much that. It's just the way you carry yourself, the way you move, the way you you know handle yourself through conversation. Um, things along that line. But I, I don't really care for females who how can I put this I like females who take the initiative on certain things but, stop right oh, hold there on, hold on, hold on. Let, me right finish there. let me finish this Nuh-uh, statement uh-uh. Though. let me finish this statement right. and what I mean by that is if you want to be in a relationship with me make it known if you just want to fuck make it known if you just want to have somebody to kick it with and just have my attention, make it known. 
But when you come at me and I'm not sure what the fuck it is that you want, you're wasting my fucking time. So at that point, that's when I'm putting your ass in the friend zone. When you can't make up your fucking mind, you're in the friend zone. That's what I mean by that. At the end of the day, if the woman lacks initiative in your eyes, she's weak. No. That is a weakness. No, it's it's not a, that's a, just a weakness. Like, just you can't make weak. up your mind that's what just you like, want. It's uh, indecisiveness. Bitch. And you know me well enough to know that if I don't like cannot, indecisiveness. If, I need... If she does plan, not have the ability... This is what I want. If she does not have the ability to take initiative, it's a weakness. It's a turnoff because you're looking at this woman and you're saying... I'm here. I can take initiative. I'm asserting my masculinity. You're a woman and you are either afraid or you're lacking the ability to show initiative. That's a weakness. It's a flaw. It's a weakness. And you're going to look at that and be like, you know what? You can't make up your mind. You're indecisive. You're not here. I'm here. So I can't look at you and be like, you know, whatever, but you can look at me and I'm like, Hey, this is what it is. That's a weakness. So you're going to put her in the friend zone because that's a weakness period. And that's the same way women look at dudes when they throw them in the friend zone. Some of them, if, if I'm always the nice guy and I'm not, and, and I, I don't have the balls to be like, Oh nah, we're not doing that. It's a weakness. If I can't take initiative to be like, Hey, you know what? Grab your coat. We going out. And that's what she wants. She and, and I'm not taking that initiative to keep her interested in me. It's a weakness. If I'm indecisive and she got her head on straight, it's a weakness. So it's like uh, friend zone. I can't do it no weak stuff like that. It's a, it's all a weakness. But at the end of the day, it's also a perception of weakness. So it's like if if you if we as men. We like we take no initiative with women, but we want all of these things that the women got. We take no initiative. They're looking at us and they be like, yo, that's a weak dude. I can go to work or I can be at the gas station and I'm pumping and I'm about to pump my gas and stranger dude over here takes the initiative to pump my gas for me. She's looking at it as strength. Whereas if me and you, we in the car with her, she driving, and we just chilling in the in the, in the passenger seat while she pump gas. We lack initiative, and that's a weakness. They looking at that as a weak man. I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being real with you. I disagree with you. Because check I'm this out, right? I'm trying to tell you. I've been in plenty of ga- damn gas stations before. And I've seen plenty of women pump their own goddamn gas while they sorry ass man no. is sitting there. So it's kind of like he don't want to take dude. the initiative to pump the damn gas, but he riding around on the passenger seat with the damn seat all set back and shit like he fucking king dingling or some shit. That's a weak ass dude. You and I perceive that as weakness. But in her women mind, women perceive that as weakness. In her mind, she's like, oh my God. He, he's the one. No, 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 <laughs> no, one. no, 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 no. You got that all no, twisted. No, I don't think I do. Here's the, I don't here, think I do. No, here's the problem with that. Here's the problem all with right. that. That woman is not even in the right head space. <laughs> any woman. No, all bullshit aside. All right. Any woman, any woman that constantly deals with a weak ass dude. Sitting in the passenger seat. Well, let me put it like this. A man should not allow a woman to do stuff like that, period. That's a weak ass dude. And for those women who put up with that bullshit are weak ass women. We're looking at what I'm when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at individuals who got their head on straight. So, again, if if this woman gets out her car and pumps her gas and that joker is sitting there letting her do that one something's wrong with her and he is a weak ass dude now a strong-willed woman she might pump her gas but in her head she's like this motherfucker he's on a time limit because there's no reason for I, i as a woman i should not be pumping my goddamn gas he should not ask me 
if he if I want if if I, I want him to pump my gas. No, there's something wrong with that whole situation right there. Period. Period. Because I guarantee you, if a woman gets out of her car and pump her gas and her dude hops out that goddamn seat before she puts her hand on the goddamn gas thing, that's a strong dude to her, and she's gonna appreciate that shit. But again, that woman has to be in the right headspace. If that woman allows that jackass to pump that gas, uh, the, to allow her to pump her gas, and he in the past, she ain't right. She ain't right. Period. That all sounds good in theory. But the harsh reality right, I'm of trying that to tell you is I see it every day. We, I see it every day, too. I see it every day, too. But at the end of the day, we have to know where that woman's headspace is. Because if she has her head, if her head is in the right space, something better be wrong with that motherfucker that he's not getting out that car to pump that gas. Period. Hell, I even seen a dude driving and still let his girl pump the gas. There's a problem <laughs> with that woman. You, you're, you, you, you're ignoring that part. No, I'm not ignoring there's that part. There's something wrong with that woman. Oh. No, there's something wrong with that woman. We, yes, we've seen, I've seen it on social media. I've seen it in person. I've seen it in movies. At the end of the day, when it comes to that type of situation right there, that's a weak ass dude. And it takes for that woman to recognize that's a weak ass dude. If she continues to allow that shit, she's a weak ass chick. Period. No woman with good goddamn common sense is going to allow a fucking grown ass man or even her teenage son to sit in the fucking car while she pump gas. No. Something's wrong with her. So if she puts a dude in a friend zone because of that, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But she better get be cutting his ass loose real soon. Period. Period. I guarantee you, if you ask enough women that situation, they're going to say that's a weak ass dude. And if you say, well, what? Well, but well, that's what she do. That, they're going to say there's something wrong with her. Period. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Because when I see that shit, I'll be like, the fuck? Nah. Mm -mm. That's a weak dude. And that's a weak ass chick. If they allow that to go on. They need to friend zone each other and, and just go, go away. You and I both know we were raised in a different era. But here's the thing it's about it weak is we, we can take a survey of a hundred different damn females across the, the the board and all of them pretty much will say, oh, he got to pump my gas. But not even a good goddamn fireman is after that. We can pass by a gas station and we'll see her pumping her own damn gas while her dude is on the side. So saying one thing and doing another is completely and totally two different damn things seen it nah. too many times that again some again something is wrong with her but at the end of the day it's stuff like that that will get a man put in the friend zone period mm. period but again that woman has to have a head on straight she got to have a head on straight we can see it all day long it doesn't matter women can talk one thing out their mouth and then do the total opposite and we can look at them like you was just over here talking about he got to pump your gas. And now you over here sitting there letting him sit in the car while you pump the gas. A chick like that with a rationally mind man like you and I, that's the type of chick that gets put in the friend zone. Because one, she weak as shit. That's weak. That's a weakness. So it's like, I can't deal with that. You can't sit here with me and pump your chest talking about, oh, he got to pump my gas if he in my car or, or whatever. The, if he's not being a gentleman. Let's put it that mm -hmm. way. Let's just put it that way. So Shorty cannot sit here and have a conversation with you and I and say, well, I expect a man to pump my She ain't even got to be cocky about it. I expect him to be a gentleman if I'm driving. If he could at least pump the gas. But then go down the street and it's like we riding in the car. We like, wait, 
didn't, didn't she just say she's weak? She gets put in the friend zone. It got nothing to do with him at that point. She is weak. You and I would put her in the friend zone. That dude would probably, that in, that's in the car with her, would probably put her in the friend zone because it's like, shit, this chick, I could sit in the car and she pump her own gas. She weak. Period. That's what it is. It's weak. It don't matter how many times we see it. That's weak. I get, Look, I guarantee you, if I was in the car with a chick mm -hmm. and every time it come to go pump gas, she go pump the gas and I'm chilling, playing on my phone, just looking at her pump gas, I'm saying to myself, this chick is weak as shit. That's how I'm going to look at it. She could look at me as a jack, like a jackass. Oh, this jackass is going to sit there. And, but that's my type of guy. We're going to have a conversation. Well, why didn't you do this? Well, shit. You hopped out there and did it. What I'm going to hop out there for? We're going to have a conversation. And then we're going to see what the root of the problem is. I'm a realist. <laughs> it's not. It's not about being a realist. So you 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 taking this on a different. You taking this all the way on a different street. No, all the way on a different what street. What I'm saying though is again, um, females will say that shit, and you know, publicize that. You know, I'm looking for a guy that will do that type of thing, meaning pump my gas for me, pay for the gas for me. Mm -hmm. And then she'll put that motherfucker in the friend zone all day long, all day but it, long. So it has nothing uh, to do with about being a gentleman or being respectful towards her. As crazy as this may sound, a lot of females, I'm not saying all females, but a lot of females will take that shit as being a weakness. Like what? How do that even compute? In some females' heads, that that that's that's cool by them. But anyway, to each but you have own, to understand the own. you got to understand the dynamics of all of that. Because I get what you're saying. A, a chick, I have a, a, a again. If a chick has a dude in her passenger seat and she's pumping gas, and she puts him in the friend zone, it's a reason why she put him in the friend zone. Period. It's a good goddamn reason why she put him in the friend zone. She probably don't give two shits about him pumping her gas. She probably got dick on the side somewhere or whatever the case may be. Because honestly, if I'm looking at that situation, um, if if I'm the dude that's in the passenger seat and she's pumping her gas, I already know that th 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 this dynamic is not working. Period. Especially, especially if I offer to pump her gas and she say, no, I'm good. I got it. That's when a man got to check that situation for real, because it's like, hey, what's going on here? I agree. So romantic is weakness, a deal breaker. Fuck yeah. Explain, sir. You take a situation to where you're romantic with someone and whether it's physical or emotional, for instance, you take a broken person, whether it's a male or a female, and they have a lot of baggage with them and they say to you, Take me as I am. You're supposed to help me carry my bags. And it's like, wait, wait a minute. Your weak ass expects me to rebuild you up to where you need to be. One, I don't have the time and energy for that. I don't have the patience for that. And that's not what I'm looking for. I can't, I can't take this, this individual who's weak and, and build them up because it's like, I'm taking energy that could be used somewhere else to build you up to where 
you should be or where I need you to be. And it's like, nah, you're a weak person. I can't, I can't do that. No. So let me get this straight then. The way society is now, right? I, I, I oh, think shit. This, this is a very valid um, instance. People nowadays don't want to spend the time building any goddamn body up. Meaning, why the hell should if, you? If you are broken or if you've gone through some shit in your life, people don't want to spend the time to help you damn build yourself up. Should you? Is that your job? I'm just saying, this is where we're at now. Oh, well, shit. A, a lot of people is short so, then. with that being said, then, I mean, there... Are we saying that broken people are weak? Is that what we're saying? I'm saying that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't on, know what... Hold on. on. I want, want hey. you to think about this now. Think about what you just said. No, no. <laughs> okay, so, so let me put it to you All like right. this. Let me put it to you like this. And everybody can tell you about my third wife. Everybody can tell you about right. that. She was broken as hell. I didn't know how broken she was. Mm -hmm. She refused to do what she needed to do for her herself in order to make us work. I spent a lot of energy trying to cater to that bullshit. And it's like there was nothing I could do. So I'm looking at her like, yo, you weak. No, you put on this front, you know, you beat your chest, you, you rah, rah, you this, you that, you that, but you're doing all of that to cover up your damaged parts. That's weak because you putting on this front, you acting like, you know, you acting like you got it together. You putting on this front in front of people, you talking crazy, this, that, and the other, that is a weakness. And you and and people like that know it's a weakness and they refuse to go do the necessary work to bring themselves together in order to function well in situations. That is a weakness to me. Now, the caveat to that, there are people out there who have issues and they know they have issues and they're doing what they need to do to work on those issues. Those people are not weak. But these people who know that they're out there putting on these fronts and they're making it harder for other people, that's weak. All right. So through this conversation, I have to rescind a statement I made. Mm -hmm. You guys can go back and listen to the beginning of this, this whole conversation here. Um, and that previous conversation i i thought or i felt that people who aren't willing to um build themselves into the best version of themselves i felt they're weak so mm -hmm. i'm now saying i retract that statement and i apologize mm -hmm. for that statement simply based off the conversation we're having now because okay. on the flip side of that you're saying if i'm understanding you correctly the people who refuse to work through their issues, they're weak. Mm -hmm. Right. Am I understanding that correctly? That's how I feel okay. about it. So the reason I'm saying that I, I, I see the, the comparisons now, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning the people who refuse to build themselves up to the best version of themselves and the people right. who are broken but refuse to work through their issues to mm -hmm. be the best, you know, version of themselves in a sense. Right. So mm -hmm. here's my thing. I can't say someone who refuses to work through their brokenness. I can't say they're weak. Mm -hmm. What I will say is they're broken to the point that for whatever reason, they find fear in working through their issues. So a person who know that they're broken, but refuse to work through their issues. Again, I'm not saying you're weak. I'm saying mm -hmm. you recognize, or maybe you don't, 
But if you recognize that you have issues and you're not 